So in this video, we're going to be talking about transformations, specifically linear transformations. Now, first of all, a transformation is simply taking a point from one place and transforming it, moving it to a different place. But we're going to specifically talk about linear transformations. We're going to do all of this in two dimensions. So let's come up with a two-dimensional plane, first of all. All right, so there's our two-dimensional uh, plane, a Cartesian plane, X and a Y axis. Now let's put a point on there that we can transform. All right, so there's my point X, Y, and I'm going to transform that point. Now when I transform that point, I'm gonna be creating something called the image of that point. So I have a point right there, uh, and it's the image of X, Y. And we use these little dashes here, X dash, Y dash, to show that it's the image. There are a lot of different types of transformations you can do, but we're going to do a linear transformation. And the definition of a linear transformation is a bit tough, but we're going to jump into it. There's some point x, y, and then we transform it, this little arrow here, into the point ax plus by and cx plus dy, where a, b, c, and d are constants of some kind. So briefly, because we're going to look at this in much more depth in a minute, but we've got uh, a point, A, let's say. Now, if I add in its image, A dash. Now, its image is going to be 1 times the x coordinate of A plus some number, in this case, 0 times the y coordinate, uh, and then uh, 0 times the x coordinate plus some number, in this case, 1 times the y coordinate. Now, at the moment, the image and the original are in the same place because I'm just saying make the x coordinate the x coordinate and make the y coordinate the y coordinate. Now, if I were to say double that value there, what I'm saying is, well, take the x coordinate and double it, make that the new x coordinate. And I could do the same here, we'll take the x coordinate and double it. And so now I've just doubled the x coordinate and the y coordinate. Uh, I could have said, well, I want to double the x coordinate, but I want to halve the y coordinate. And then I get like a different transformation here. Things get more complicated, however, when I say, well, in my new x coordinate, I want to bring in a little bit of the y coordinate. Uh, so I say, well, make the x coordinate, the new x coordinate, uh, two times the original x coordinate plus uh, one times the original y coordinate, or make the new y coordinate um, three times the x coordinate. So it's, it's very similar to the x coordinate now. Well, it's three times bigger than the x-coordinate, plus um, half of the original y-coordinate. Now I get some other new transformation. So that's a linear transformation, but you might be starting to piece together the fact that this actually feels a little bit like matrix multiplication. Well, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't feel like um, matrix multiplication, but it is. Let me show you why. You can express point A as a column matrix, as a point x, y, right? And then we can look at this a, b, c, and d, and we can rewrite that as a matrix as well. This can be thought of as a transformation matrix. Now, using that, if I then take that and multiply it by the column matrix x, y, what do I get? Well, I'm going to get a uh, 2 by 1 matrix, and it's going to be a times x, plus b times y as my first element, and c times x plus d times y as my next element. And you can see that this is ax plus by, which is this point here, and this is cx plus dy, which is my next element there. So breaking this all down, we can say that to find the image a dash, all we need to do is do the matrix A, so a point can be thought of as a matrix, and multiply it by the linear transformation matrix, which we'll use L4, which is the linear matrix. So the image is equal to the linear transform matrix times the original point, which is just our column matrix. If we can do an example of this, uh, write down the linear transformation matrix for the rule x, y transforms to x minus 2, y, 3, x plus y, and use this to find the image of the point 2, 3. Okay, so the transformation rule is going to be the transformed image is going to be equal to 
Now our matrix is 1 minus 2, 3 plus 1. We're multiplying it just by x and y. Okay, there's our linear transformation rule. We can now sub in the point 2, 3. And then we can multiply those matrices together. So 1 times 2 plus negative 2 times 3 is, um, I hope that's 4. And 3 times 2 plus 1 times 3, I hope that is 9. Pardon me, 1 times 2, negative 2 times 3, that's going to be negative 4. Okay, so really quickly, on a Cartesian plane, the point was 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. And then we applied this linear transformation matrix to it, and we ended up with a point that moved over to here at 4, 9. All right, so that one was point A, and that one is the image of A. So that's the mechanics of linear transformations. Now, there is some more I want to talk about, obviously, a lot more to talk about with linear transformations. Uh, but the next video we get, we're going to talk about that uh, transformation that we've already talked about in one dimension, and then look at what it looks like when we work in two dimensions, creating these sorts of linear transformations.